Hey, Gavox here. So, run pass glitch and a couple other tips that I want to give you for defense after the ebook comes out. So, kind of supplementing that stuff. Um, let's go over the first. I think we got three tips to get through. I hope I can remember them all because they're not good with memory. Run pass glitch in 335 normal. My defense is up first. Now, almost everybody online right now that you're going to go against in 335 normal. You guys know I've been in it for, I don't know, quite a long time. But it came popular after uh, a competitive tournament a while ago. Everybody copies the best people. Uh, so, all right, I want to I want to show you it, and I want to show you kind of the downsides of it. It's not a hundred percent reliable because they can run play action and stuff. Um, so we'll just start off in verticals. All right, so when you get in on defense three three five normal, there's a few things I'm going to show you. Again, I'll get again. I'll get to that in a second. All right, so when you slant out, look at Bruce Smith's angle. All right, so you look at that angle. Uh, it's kind of like faced in, right? So you got to slant out, face in. Uh, now when they go to like a inside zone. You see how it's going out? There it is. Boom. Run pass glitch. I don't know if EA is going to patch this game, but that needs to be patched. So you can tell they're running based off that. Okay? The reason you could tell they're running is because of the uh, drop. Do you see the offensive lineman play art? That's the way, that's why the defensive ends art shifts because the play art on the offensive line switch. It's the same thing we had earlier with other type of issues. Like, see with vertical, how it drops all the way back? Um, that's, that's what's keying off the run pass glitch right here. So in there. And then so like when they switch to like even a play action, like PA cross shot, you see how their linemen don't go back? So it's either um, a run, see how it shows run there? Because the offensive linemen are kind of like run blocking right away. So that's how you can tell. So don't get completely, don't run commit every play if you see the run pass tell glitch because play action still will still will work. So even if they don't have uh, the run, the play action on, it's still play action blocking. So FYI, it's a little bit of a tell. They're either running play action or the ball. Uh, based off uh, the artwork of the defensive end there when you slant up in 335. It's also in big nickel and other four down set sets. Um, so it just makes 335 more powerful, mixing up with the other one. Um, so that's solved. All right, that's done. Um, another tip that uh, you can go to, uh, what was it? I, I think shooting gaps in inside zone. No, I talked about that in, I talked about that in the ebook. The other, the other couple tips, one, one I like to do on defense. So if you're ever, if you're ever sending like a blitz, say you're base aligning, um, you're sending like say a six man blitz and they got six people blocking. How do you, how do you ensure that a guard doesn't, you know, you, your blitz doesn't get picked up? How do you ensure that happens? You gotta, you gotta basically lock in a guard. A lot of people hover here. You don't really need to hover. Um, uh, what I like doing, you gotta be playing like a little bit off the ball. And then so when, when they're like that, and then when they snap, the, I can't, it's hard to do this with two hands. Um, let me see. So you got you hover a couple yards off the ball, and then like you move the here, and then see how see. Oh, okay, I'm I moving it too far. <laughs> I'm going to rain in my other blitzer. Um, but do you see how your user can manipulate that guard? Um, let's try it again. Blitz. I like. I always like to man him up. If I leave him in a zone, it feels like I get the auto strafe penalty a lot. Um, so I either man him up or put him on a blitz. Also, another tip that that's uh, one thing I want to tell. If you're doing a manual blitz, you see a lot of people do manual blitzes now. Make sure and actually have your guy on a blitz. In some formations, that allows you to sprint through without getting that straight penalty. Um, generally, I think it's like 4-3 over gets that. Um, I don't think you have a penalty. It depends on your blitz, too. Um, but you, you want to mess around with that move. I don't do I do not do user blitzes that much. Um, only if I'm like, I don't know, risk it all, right? You know, you, you're putting out some uh, risky phone calls, that kind of stuff. So I like to I like leave on a blitz. But anyways, so man, I'm up. Um, yeah, so let, let's do it again. Let's, let me snap it again, see if I can do this. See how I move him? Okay, I wasn't I wasn't close enough to snap of the ball to get him there. My bad. Let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. All right. All right. And then, of course, if I'm blitzing, I like to get him kind of close. Sometimes I sometimes I do that tell. Sometimes I bring him right there, and then other times I'll do that same thing, but then I'll man him up with somebody in the trips formation. So they think I'm coming, but then I don't. So don't always blitz if you bring him close. All right. So a couple yards off the line of scrimmage, right here. You don't have to hover, kind of there, and then then move him. You see that? And then boom. All right. My guys just fell over, weirdly. But that's a good way of manipulating the guards. We're not actually having to hover, engage them, and then back up. Uh, you basically just kind of shift like a yard or two past them. That's one tip. I know a lot of other issues. I don't know. I think I went over this issue in the in the ebook too. So this might not be a good issue. This is kind of what I thought. Sometimes that mixes up uh, blocking. You see, I think Pavin, this is how he runs his 3 through 5 um, He goes behind. Uh, he puts him right there. That's, that's okay. I like... Uh, the base aligning it and pressing. Okay, I already moved him, so he doesn't base align. That's a good way of getting home off the edge uh, without IDing. Uh, I've showed you how to beat bunch, how to blitz through bunch, even though max protect, that kind of stuff. Uh, generally, I like linebackers right here, but that's really kind of what I want to go through. Those are kind of two big things 
if you're on a three three five, pretty huge um, areas to beat. Also, I guess I show this in the ebook. I might as well show it right now. Inside zone, there's multiple ways to shoot it with your guard here. Either be out here. Let's see if I can do this properly, and then shoot it through that gap. As long as you're quick enough and don't get blocked by that tight end. If you're if you're that right outside linebacker, you can easily shoot that um, gap. So I'm not even going to do anything inside zone. Um, just you just got to be able to beat Gonzalez off that ball. So snap, recognize the blocking. Oh, that time I got shot though. Who shot you? Um, all right, press and inside zone. Be out here a little so that way Gonzo targets you. Oh, oh, snap the ball and then you go through. If you're quick enough in your reactions, if you have somebody fast there, who is that? Ray Lewis? No, yeah, it is Ray Lewis. Um, somebody fast there you, with a linebacker, you can generally shoot that pretty easy. Uh, but that's something I went through. All right, those are the three tips for the three-three-five. Make your defense that much better. If you guys like these tip videos, let me know. Otherwise, fuck them. Uh, but that's it for this video. Bye.